like you. Unborn Einsteins wept in heaven, waiting to find the area under a curve, to play numbers in the sky same way the Enola Gay circled coordinates of open faces, drew moons before it dived. But why, Isaac, did you bother? Close the doors of your barn to learn the workings of a windmill. July 16th, 1945, Alamogordo, New Mexico. I am death become time. I am the destroyer of worlds, and I will devour you. Isaac, you found the area under a curve, and we took it to split the atom. A scientist from Ho Chi Minh, another from the hovels of Pyongyang, one more from the 29 contaminated lakes of Bhopal, and you and that Cheshire windmill. Did you know the chain reaction in a tub of hay would bury Hiroshima 140,000 times? The what if? Another spirit had struck you first. What if a loose-tongued lover convinced your body to open like the mouth of a starving salamander, willing for a drop of lapped saliva, which is to say, what if you were a simpleton or just someone who planted flowers in a stranger's garden, walked his hound around a field of Dover poppies, but stopped to hear the gas chambers two meters down, the salamanders too thick-skinned, even then for plutonium? What if bees crawl up your wrists, Isaac, like beacons of Earth's warning? What if your lover, gone in lust, punctured your rib with a candlestick? What if knowledge, geometry, the everyday numbers of our becoming closer to each other and so far from giving a fuck? What if even those quotients ask for repose, for the comfort of a tent never too full to dance and barter mystery like children? Done with the sound and fury of the bruise burned. Oh. Oh.